everywhere. They're watching me now. It seems we're going to be seeing Mon Mothma in the Galactic Senate, see her more in action than we've seen her before. I was hoping that you could maybe tell us a little bit about what the Galactic Senate is like in this time period. The last time we saw it, it was uh, dying by thunderous applause, and now it is kind of shambling along with the Emperor, kind of pulling the strings. What's that like? There is always a road to autocracy, right? There is always a road to... Uh, um, demonic dictators. It takes a road to get there. So you find us on that road. And that's what is um, the journey for me of this story. We know that she um, ends up in Rogue One as um, one of the leaders of the rebellion. Well, when we start Andor, she is steeped in the Senate. She is trying to affect change within the Empire. She believes she has a hope that, and, and, and an idealism and a belief that she can affect change from within. She believes in the power of diplomacy. Um, she's trying to gather a collective opposition against this um, looming autocracy. Now, inevitably, we know she fails, but the journey is seeing how that happens, and that's what's interesting for me. Through the storytelling, through the narrative arcs, Tony has been unafraid to explore the tentacles of empire, the tentacles of colonialism, and how that affects people, how that affects the very center of humanity. And you have spoken and you have spoken about that this season is about the formation of a revolution. When the tentacles of empire get so destructive and creative and corrosive, there is nothing left to do but gather your community and revolt.